What's up, everybody? It's Dane Miller from throwsuniversity.com, and we are bringing to you a never-before-seen video of Ryan Krauser smashing throws just before he broke the world record in training. So this is a training throw. Uh, and let's break this down and check it out. And this, is, this was his last session prior to the Olympic trials and his 23-37 throw that broke the world record. So let's see, what is... What is Ryan doing? Just wanted to point out how easy this these throws are. This throw is um, for Krauser. And one of the things that I saw was that during his training, he would take throws like this where he would take almost like a little bit of a static start, just like a slight dynamic start here, and purposely go very slow and then hit hit that front. And then he would turn on the gas by doing his traditional large wind up into uh, into his full throw, and then that's when he was hitting these huge throws. So these this throw here was the throw that was almost like purposefully uh, easier paced. And if you watch him qualifying at the Olympic trials, his morning qualification session. He doesn't really wind his throw, but when he broke the world record, he does a big wind. So he purposely, in my mind, he purposely set that up um, to break the world record by adding his big wind and adding a little bit more juice, a little more intensity. So what do we see on this throw here? <clears throat> what I want to point out is he also had half turns well over 21 meters. Uh, but let's check out this is a nice, easy training throw right here. Left foot's right about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit further when he's going to pick up that right side. Left arm's past that left knee as he's opening up. Okay, so let's get to this point. I find it interesting. He He's purposely now set, tends to be keeping that heel lower. He, he raises it up, and then as he comes around, it almost drops, which is legal now. They changed that rule. He's got this nice long right leg, right? And it's in his counterbalance, his op opposing counterbalance seems to be that left arm right there, that long left arm that's open past his hip. So he has this long right leg. His toe is up. It's dorsiflex. His knee is facing up or about, you know, on a 45 degree angle. Now, this was not, I don't think this was his best training throw because he tended to not come around that left as well. Um, you know, and this is for him. He's obviously the best ever uh so this is me critiquing the world's best shot putter to ever exist currently <laughs> uh he falls in a little bit and tends to rotate longer here with this right side than he does on his world record throw nice left arm holding position there you can see how he opens that left arm and a lot of coaches still teach keeping that left arm inside the hip while we can see Krauser and Kovacs open this left arm and then watch how that just comes across. Okay, so now that's that becomes, that maintains right here, it's a counterbalance for that right leg here. And then that left arm then becomes that counterbalance to his left leg. So it's interesting how well he, he does that. Now that left side here, I believe because he, he over rotated a little bit from that left hip in the back, sort of blocks him off just a hair. You, know, you can see that where that left foot's in line with his right. He opens, and he's he's finishing still with that right shoulder around, but he's not able to stay down as long as he does on some of those really, really big throws. Um, and you can also just see he tends to, right here, if that's where his left foot is, he sort of reverses, so that green arrow is where his left foot was. He reverses over here, so he doesn't really rotate past that left as well as he does in some of those other throws. This throw is still 22 mid, still a huge throw. Um, the last session before he broke the world, re uh, before he had qualification, um, and then proceeded to break the world record. You know, so this throw was just, I'm going to say 70, 75 percent. And I just think it's, it's again, it's, it's seeing and learning how, what are these guys doing in training? They're purposely, he's at that that level. He's the Tom Brady of shot put. That's how we got to look at him. He purposely has this little bit of a dynamic start to, to control himself out of the back and to tone it down a little. And then when he raises that intensity, he, he adds it, that wind. And he's got that nice, long right leg. And I look at that as sort of that gas pedal that cuts in. And when that cuts in, it gets everything else moving around him. 
and leads to that nice long finish where even on his easy throws, left foot still grounded, right hand is way out past the toe board, and everything rotates around on the finish. So if you need help with your throwing, head over to throwsuniversity.com. You can pick up a training program today. Until next time, guys, peace.